It's time for the OnePlus 7 to come apart. Let's remove the SIM tray. Next, you're going to want to heat the back up to loosen up the adhesive and then use your plastic pry tool to work your way around the phone and pry the back off. Now, there are 20 Phillips screws that need to be removed. The top cover now comes off. Disconnect the battery cable. Now the battery can be removed. Disconnect the three wire cables. Now disconnect the rest of the cables. Let's remove the front facing camera. Now let's disconnect the back facing cameras. Now here's a closer look at the main cameras. And here's the front facing camera. At this point, the main board can be removed. Now as you can see, there's gaskets around the connectors and that will definitely help against liquid damage. There's a little amount of thermal paste underneath the board and the main board sits on this graphene film over here. As you can see, it makes contact right there and it transfers the heat. Now we can remove the bottom speaker assembly. Here's a closer look at it. You have a vibrator motor sitting underneath it as well. This is the speaker itself. There are two Phillips screws holding down your charger port. Removing those screws will allow you to pull the charger port off. And here we have your fingerprint reader scanner right there. And the cable for it is right here. Let's disconnect that. Here's the cable for your screen. Now we can disconnect these two cables over here. And you have a wire cable right here. And now we can remove this board right here. So on this board you got your microphone right there. And this basically makes the connections for the fingerprint reader right there. You got your screen cable that connects right there. And the other two cables right here that run to the main board. And here's the back side. So as far as your buttons go on either side, you have black tabs. You'd basically have to stick something underneath it and pry them up and off and then you'd be able to remove the buttons and so forth. You also have a small flex cable type thing over here where this ribbon cable connects to. It looks more like a antenna connection or something that runs through the frame. You also have several touch points throughout the frame in gold in which the board makes contact with. And you have another large speaker on top over here which is primarily used for your earpiece speaker and it's held down with one Phillips screw right over here. So you'd have to remove that Phillips screw to pry the speaker off. So as far as replacing the screen goes, at this point you would have to heat the screen up and pry it off. And then your cable is right over here. You don't have to run the new one through the frame and just reverse the process. All right, now let's go ahead and put it back together. Now apply some new adhesive around the phone, apply your back plate back over, power on the phone, and you're done. Thanks again for watching guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.